I am back with another video. I went shopping, so I'm going to give everybody some uh, thoughts on what I bought. So stick around. Okay, I'm going to start this video off with the gloves that I bought. They're Icon Pursuits. They have the touch screen in the fingers, which is good. Their sizing said I was a large, but these three fingers here are all the way at the end. <laughs> and this one here is actually kind of digging into my thumb right there at the nail. So I think I'm gonna eventually wear these through right here. And the pinkies. The pinkies, I know I don't have a small hand, but that pinky has way too much material left on it. It had just a wee bit more, or a wee bit less actually, and that put on these three fingers. I think they would have been dead on the size. But Icon Pursuits, they're $75 through JMP Cycles and pretty much everywhere else. <sighs> would I recommend them? Yeah, I would recommend them. I do like them. This icon needs to adjust some things or have better quality control if that is the case. Because this finger here is perfect. Those three are too tight, and that one has too much material. And it's the same on this hand. If I'd have gone with an extra large, seeing how nobody has these in store around me, I don't know how baggy they would be. But, hey Icon, if you're watching and you want to send me a pair of extra larges to try out, I'll take them. But don't stop making these. Just kind of tweak the, tweak the sizes right here and the fingers on the material. Other than that, yes, I would definitely, definitely recommend these gloves. For now, I'll get back with you on when they bust out. If they bust out. In some of the live streams I've been in talking to people, I've had questions about my way I film, as far as what I use, how I use it. Right there is a perfect example, which I'm about to go to. Uh, let's see if I can back that up. I got a dual mount right here and a single mount on the bars with a spacer coming up to hold that mount and I kind of lay my adapter right here and my wireless plugs into it which is plugged into the camera now so I can't really show you but I throw a battery pack which I want to show you I throw a battery pack in here and kind of wind the cables where it comes out underneath the bedroll here and then I can charge these as I'm going. And I can also charge it on my cell phone at the same time, which is this guy right here. If you do not have USB port hookup on your bike, you don't want to take the tank off run wires. You definitely don't want to run one of these under the tank because they don't last too long. Um, I will say Professional Monkey just did one on his Heritage where he hid the charger, which is a really good idea if you have that kind of setup to use it. I don't. I got to break out with a bedroll. So I just slide this inside the bedroll a ways and then run these cables coming out, kind of sit like that. And then two goes to the GoPro, one goes to my cell phone. And this one here, if I get in a situation where I have to use my wireless microphones, I can charge them too. And I bought this battery pack for my scope on my Coyote rifle. And this battery pack lasted three full nights and still had charge on it, running the scope from 
pretty much sundown to sun up. Although I didn't get nothing because they didn't show up during that time, the battery pack still held its charge and was worth it. Now, when I, uh, I know I ain't got any of this up yet. It's coming. I typically wear a half shell, crazy owl. When I have that half shell on, I don't run a windshield. I got, been told I kind of have the old school mentality about windshields not belonging on bikes. So I have wind I have to deal with, obviously. So this one here, I put on, I modified a piece to go over the mic to keep the wind from blowing into it. But it sits right here on my lips. Like that, uh, latch the helmet down, it doesn't go anywhere. I did have to find a boot to put over the mic and I was able to put the foam over the mic so the wind doesn't, it flares off of this and doesn't actually hit that. And the boom was blowing around a little bit so I got a piece of uh, copper wire and just taped it up. It ain't the prettiest, but it works. And those videos will be coming out this spring probably. And everybody will see that one in action. Now for the meat and potatoes part. This was the helmet I was vlogging in. It's a Harley Davidson. I don't know who made it. Uh, it's a high helmet. The thing I don't like about it is that it's a D-ring. I hate having to take my gloves off just to take my helmet off. Especially when it's hot outside, I got the visor up, trying to take this thing off, it's a pain in the butt. So, this one's getting retired. And I bought me a bell. I ordered this on Valentine's night, probably around 11 o'clock at night. Ordered the gloves and ordered my Cardo refresh kit. Probably around 11, 30, 12 o'clock at night on Monday night. By Wednesday, the gloves was in and Thursday, the helmet and the refresh kit came in. The so J&P cycles are really fast with their shipping. And I went with this helmet because I really like the looks of it. There are some things that I'm about to talk about in case you're looking for this helmet. And for all transparency, I have had this open, setting up placement for everything, just to make the video go smoother. But looking at this shield, some people are going to know exactly what this is, because it does come with a tinted shield. And it comes with a, a book and a sticker. And a warning label inside of it, which, of course, like most people, I don't read the warning labels. Let's see what we got. This is the Bell Bruiser. I got mine in gloss black because I have my half shell that's in mat and his fingerprints and all that on there and it's hard to keep clean but this helmet is really good now the setup I'm gonna use I can't say this is gonna work for everybody but I have some ideas how it could the bruiser the first chain comes off so if you're trying to get into YouTube and you have this helmet or you get this helmet, you need to know that that comes off. Now, I do not have the other mic 
for Micardo. They do come with a boom mic. And I'm almost certain if you wanted to keep this as a three quarter helmet, you could do a little modification over here to stick it in. So you still have uh, the capability of uh, running it in three quarter style. And I got a sticker coming for this that isn't in yet. But <clears throat> my poker chips came in. So I gotta wait till Tuesday before I can put the sticker on this. I will say with this helmet, Bell, I hope you're watching and I, I really hope you keep this helmet going, but I think you need to tweak some things. For one, their sizing chart shows I'm a large. Well, with me being a large, you can see right here that the straps almost at the end. So their straps, they need to work on the straps some. They need to work on the placement of the straps because it does leave it kind of awkward to put speakers in, which they don't claim to hold speakers anyways, but I'm about to make it work. I will show the location I put them in, but any modification I do to this helmet, just to keep my butt out of trouble with Bell and anybody that does it screws up their helmet, I'm not going to show that exact part. But I do know I'm going to have to do a little trimming to fit wires, which I did with that helmet down there. And it, where you, I do it at is impact. It's not going to affect anything. One cool thing about this is, if I can get it to come out, clear screen comes off. I don't plan on using that. I'm going to keep this one in. And it's really simple to get in and out. Just like that, and you got them changed. Now, <laughs> yeah, I just put that on backwards. I'm going to leave that in. I ain't going to edit that out. So, another thing I noticed with this helmet that needs to be tweaked is I think this piece needs to come out just a smidge bit more and the lens be a little bit, you know, somehow flow that in. And I say that because it, it's like right here on me. There's barely enough room to put a mic. I, uh, like I said, I had it out playing with it last night, getting spots set up for everything I need. But there's one thing I didn't realize that some people will need to know if they uh, choose to do so is going to be GoPros. Now, there's several, there's, I ain't gonna say there's several, there's a couple spots that I can mount this GoPro to. But the problem I see is probably gonna be sitting it right here. Just because if I go right here with it, it's kind of a curve. Down here seems to be less of a curve. And another thing that everybody needs to take in consideration of, which I'm using right now, so I can't bring it out. Where are you going to put your adapter for your mic? That depends on what GoPro you're using, because I have a 7 black and I have an 8 black. And the 7s are on this side, the 8s are on this side. So you do have to keep that in mind. I think I'm probably going to attach it there. I might use my other bar to bring it out more. But overall, putting the helmet on and off, you do have to uh, kind of 
pull these out a little bit to get them over. If not, it wants to rip your ears off. But once your ears get around this part, it's uh, really comfortable. I could I sat here in it and didn't have any wants or needs to kind of freak out with the helmet on my head for being claustrophobic or anything like that. So with the helmet part out of the way, here's the part that everybody's going to want to know. If you're new to moto vlogging, there's a lot of people out there with a lot of stuff. Like my actual mic, I use the one that Her Two Wheels uses. And because of this helmet, I'm having to use a splitter, or you can use a, a male to a female jumper. And this is going to be inside my helmet. And you might be wondering what this is for. Well, inside here, I took this a regular ear speaker that has, you know, a pair of headphones with the 3.5 millimeter jack on it right there and you know if you go riding with other people and you're moto vlogging at the same time or even if you just want to go and document your rides and your group has cardos well you plug the mic in right here you have your cardo on you got your mic for your cardo so you can talk back and you got your speakers here so you can hear them and basically what I did was took a, a Y, plugged it into the Cardo here, and then plugged the other half into the speakers, and then plugged the headphones into this, ran the headphone up here to this. Now, I think, let's see if I can try this because it's not in the helmet. And this is probably gonna get me a copyright strike. So let's see if I can uh, try this real quick. Okay, so this, uh, this is the mic that's inside my helmet. Hey, Cardo. Play radio. And it's not one to play radio. <laughs> hey, Cardo. Play radio. Radio on. 103.5. And I don't think I can get a copyright strike on a commercial, so that's even better. And I can hear it in the mic, so I know it is working. So, what I'm going to do is I got this little tidbit out and showed everybody. I'm going to put my helmet together, and I'm going to be back, and I'm going to show you the finished product. Minus the adapter, because I'm currently using it on my 8. And I'm not sure if I'm going to use the 7 or the 8 yet. So, I'll be back here momentarily okay I'm back I have the GoPro mounted I have the Cardo mounted both are operational the uh, cable management is a big issue with this helmet I did have to uh, play some wires in the air vent that's in the top because this helmet has it's five or six vents that go like right through here so my far, <laughs> far left one is plumb pack with extra cable. And then I had to use some duct tape too to uh, keep some cables down and keep them from falling out. But she is operational. And my only complaint with this particular helmet, well, it ain't only. I got two complaints. Chin strap. Come on, Bell. Y'all need to make that longer. I don't know. I've never had an issue with chin straps before, but this one is an issue because it's almost all the way out. The other complaint would be 
add a quarter inch to the chin bar because my mouse right here, right here on it. I mean, I can barely move my lips and I'm feeling the mics. So if Bell fixes those, I think this helmet would be really good. And honestly, I don't even think they need to have it where it separates into a three quarter. I mean, I'm not gonna separate it, but I mean, if you go and, if you wanna set this up as a vlogging helmet, you could attach a GoPro on either side. Well, I'd probably put it over here if you use a Cardo, and then just have the Cardo mic with the GoPro mic attached to it because it's on a boom, they have a boom mic. So you just zip tie or electrical tape or heat shrink, whatever you want to do. And then you could still have this as a functional three quarter helmet if you wanted it to be. So this one's going to be good and put through its paces this year. And even with all this, even with all this extra weight, I mean, it's about the same as this one here in weight. I don't have a scale to measure it. I'm just going off a of feel. This one's still, this, they feel the same right now. When this one didn't have all the stuff on it, it was a lot lighter than this one. So that's good. I am gonna say I do have new stickers coming and I did get poker chips in. So I will be sending out some stuff, more stuff actually to some people like Gliding on Two, Sinister Clutch, Hells on Two Wheels, Father Bobber, and some other guys that I'd already sent stuff out to. So if I didn't mention you, don't get mad. Just going off the top of my head. Weather permitting, it looks like it's starting to warm up. I'm gonna be getting out more videos. Well, more consistent. I'll be doing one a week. I do have some stuff that might pop up down, on down the road a ways, both with me and other people. So, may have some really cool stuff coming this year. Hopefully it comes through. If it doesn't, I'll try something else. <laughs> I'll, I'll come up with something else to replace it. It'll be fine. But, I'm gonna let y'all go. Thanks for stopping by, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.